Was ducks? Gunner just took a swill. All right, welcome back. Hey, we are on part two here. No, those aren't ducks. Those are otters. Hey, come here, Gunner. Gunner, get over here. Gunner. Damn dog, come here. Get out of the water. I didn't know if those were ducks or otters until I got a little closer. Hey, get over here. Those are otters. Hey, get over here. Hey, get over here, Hugh. Here. Sit. Yeah, if he gets out there, I got my pistol, but if he gets out there in the water, they'll try to drown him. Hey, kid, sit. Sit. So you don't want a dog messing. Matter of fact, there was an article yeah, in Anchorage. A dog was playing fetch, retrieving a ball out in the water, and a family of otters uh, tried to drown him. I think it was a Labrador. So you, you don't want your dog messing with these things. I know a lot of people think they're cute, but yeah, they are cute, but I don't like them at all. Hey, you sit down. I, I, I won't hesitate to put a bullet in one. Hey, what did I say? Sit down. Sit down. Get out of here. Sit. Hey, get her, come here. Come on, let's go. I brought my pistol for the bear. Hey, come on, let's go. We haven't even really had, uh, since springtime, any bear sign, really. We've seen the bear on the on Admiralty Island over there, but not, uh, not here on ours. But I haven't checked our game trails in a couple weeks, so we'll check the trails and See what uh see if they got anything on there anyways what was i saying good lord man welcome to part two <laughs> uh what we're doing today is i brought up some bolts uh and i'll show you when we get up here to our trailer we're fixing our trailer and and we're going to get that thing ready for winter so we can pull the boat out of the water because obviously the winds are already picking up and um yeah the best the best way to keep your boat safe is to get it out of the water and that's what we do so Let's, uh, let's get up there to the trailer and we'll get this thing fixed up, hopefully. All right, so here's the issue with the trailer is, um, last winter, we had uh, water. Hey, get over here. Last winter, we had water that got down in between here and then froze up and cracked the ends on both sides, on the front and the rear. Just on one though, so yeah, I already pre-drilled the, the, the and countersunk the hole. So basically we just uh, bolting them up today. So uh, I bought bolts earlier. They were a little too long, so the head stuck up a little high. Uh, but we went and got different bolts the other day and we're back. We're going to finish this job up. Basically, it had one. I just drilled two. Um... I just drilled the second one. I drilled one in the existing. And then drilled one in the one that was broke off, so. Let's see what we got going on here. Come on, Gunny. hang out with me buddy no I want to let you run free but I don't think if your monitors running around that'd be a good idea I don't know how well this is going to work out uh, over the long run it'll get us through the season I'm sure but we may have to I like these little these hard plastic sliders but 
may have to end up just getting some wood and uh, getting that thing fixed up. There you go. All right. All right, guys. Well, besides the little uh, otter scare, <laughs> I think this went pretty well. So if we're done with this, let's get on up to the cabin and get some more stuff ready for winter. I'll give a little uh, backstory on uh, Gunner and the otters for those that don't know is, I don't know, about three years ago, he had his first otter experience and uh, he got his front leg bit up it was a just like that, like three or four otters swimming around. And he was down there on the beach and they ran up and, and bit him. So we took him to the vet and the vet said that otters typically don't carry rabies. So there's nothing to worry about there. So now you just have to, uh, if he gets bit again, just clean it up. But they will try to drown your dog if your dog swims out in the water with them. And that wouldn't be good. I'll see if I can find that article and I'll link it down below in the description about the, the man in Anchorage. He actually swam out in the water to save his dog. And uh, it, it is what it is. Anyways, I just thought I'd give you a little backstory that Gunner and the Otters have been nemesis of each other basically since we moved out here. But I think three years ago was the first time he'd ever been bit by one. What are you doing? I'm just clearing stuff out of the bed, the rest of the stuff. It's going to be snowing here soon, and the winds are really high lately. So, I don't want to be out here messing with things too much longer. I have to get some. I think I'm going to put chicken manure in here. Somebody else wants to let me know what I should do, please, down below. <laughs> Um, well, we are going to get seaweed. Yeah, I'll put that on the last. But I was going to get some chicken manure and stir that all up in here. And then we're going to go down to the beach and get some, a um, whole bunch of seaweed. And then put it on top and then I think cover it. And hopefully that will leach some good stuff back into the soil. But um, if there's something else I should put on here before I cover up, please let me know. Um, never done this before. Okay. But um, it was, we had a good run. There's some things that are still green and, but it's getting really cold out here. We're starting to get down in the 30s, I think, at night. Yeah. So. Um, 30s at night and like mid 40s in the day. Yeah. Because <clears throat> we're right at like 42 degrees right now, I think. I don't know. Today's a beautiful day though. Yeah. So. Good day to get stuff done. So I'll put a, we'll throw a little bit of, a little montage of uh, some trail cam. Uh, we've seen a little deer, like a little baby deer that was messing around with um, the fence. I think it ran into it. I only got him like staring into the garden. So I didn't get the before, but when we came back from town, we noticed that the, some of the fence had been pulled down and um, uh, some of the electrical fence was a little loose like he had pushed I don't, I don't know so he had a day's look at yeah he, he had a look like he was just staring blankly into the garden he was like <laughs> wait a minute what's going on here so I don't know what that was all about but um, yeah I think <laughs> He didn't get in because it didn't. It showed him still on the outside, like looking, like mm, what, just what? What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so that's all the uh, the leaves we got out of the garden and around the garden. So we're gonna throw that in the compost bin, and then we're gonna till this stuff up and uh, go into town for some manure. We're gonna go into town for some manure and then throw some. We'll collect up some seaweed and throw on top and then cover it up and just let it set over the winter. I left you some lettuce there, babe. You can throw that in there too. So there's some lettuce right there. Oh. 
All right. going for the <laughs> all right there we go we got the beds all uh, tilled up raked up and then here's some stuff that we um we were growing for a competition <laughs> i'm just kidding uh we, we weren't growing. we left them in a little long uh <laughs> but uh that's a, that's, like that's that's a pretty good size uh zucchini right there it's heavy. uh it's not really edible anymore but None of those are. <laughs> but they are big. Anyways, what else we got to do? I think chicken manure and seaweed is next. Chicken manure, seaweed, cover them up. We'll do that next week. When we go into town, we'll pick that stuff up. And then for today, um, it's not going to make it in the video, but we always clean our chimney out in October, right before winter hits. That way we get all the creosote or whatever is in there out. Uh, but because of the fuel leak, we got to, we got to, um, get that tank going. That way we can start the Toyo stove, which we absolutely love. And then we can cut the fire out, clean the chimney, get the fire going again and turn the Toyo off. Um, and, uh, but I, we still have to, we're going to wash the four wheeler, put stabilizer in all of our stuff, like the weed eater. We'll put a little stabilizer in that and uh, run the gas out of it and then um, get ready for winter get ready for winter yeah you heard of the friendly neighborhood spider-man well we have a couple of stellar jays that have come in to hang out with us although they are a little noisy not the best call ever guys a new episode we've never done this before so uh, let's just jump into it and see how it goes. You know who I'm talking about. All right, so we're going to call this mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Um, so I got a couple of things in the mail, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. One, I'm not going to read the letter, but Dennis wrote me a letter, a nice letter, showing me his, uh, his um, woodshed and his wood collection. It was very nice. Uh, uh, so thank you, Dennis, for the nice letter. I really enjoyed it. The other thing is, and I'm also going to do a little uh, a little um, ad boost for him, is... You see this? It's this Kydex holster. It was by uh, Zona Holsters, and uh, he was a subscriber, and um, I already had a chest holster, but I don't like wearing chest holsters in the summer, so... Um, I reached out to him and uh, had him make a holster for me and to be honest I love it I still use that even in the winter time because it's just so easy to put on your belt take off your belt instead of uh, strapping it on but when I go hunting this winter um, we'll definitely use the chest holster just so you it won't it's not under a whole bunch of layers of skin all right since that's out of the way I'll leave a link in the description for his uh, his site because he does make quality holsters uh, anyways so he was relocating and he sent me not just not just one box but two boxes he was downsizing and uh was getting rid of some old dvds and uh if you don't know we don't have tv so one of our biggest uh <laughs> our our biggest things that we do is is watch movies uh, you know on on DVD or or we'll download them and um, And on the on the phone while we're in town and then watch them like Amazon Prime watch them on our phones at, And we get back here, but uh, so he sent two whole boxes of, of DVD so I'll go through the oh my gosh Well, I can tell you right now. I'm not ever gonna watch this movie. Have you ever seen Marley and me? I'll watch it, but man, I cried like a baby. Oh, dear Lord. Mama! What? I've never seen this movie because I've always refused to watch it. But, I have seen this movie. 
several times. <laughs> yeah, so there's a bunch of great movies in here. Yeah, super cool. Oh, I've got all the Matrix series already, man. That's awesome. Lord of the Rings is in here. Hamburger Heel. There's a bunch. I just... I just, I was gravitated to Marley and Me, and then it's, right next to it was The Notebook. I've never seen it, but I will watch it. My wife will love it. Will you watch The Notebook with me? She says yes. The last thing I got was, um, I seen uh, one of my friends, Jay, over at Almost Homestead. He did a video on, um, the Logox. So I reached out to Logox and uh, they you, they gave me a discount. You still got to pay for it. And you know what? That's probably was one of the most um, upright things I heard. He goes, I, I don't pay for reviews so I can give you a discount. And basically it was just the discount for to pay for shipping really because it, it did cost quite a bit of money to ship. So um, we got a, uh, I bought the Logox, and it's basically a three kit series, and so we'll be doing a review on, oh snap dude, I got a hat too, look at this, so we've got some projects coming up in the near future that we will, um, we will be utilizing this on, so um look forward to those and we'll do a review on it and show you how it works and how well it works for us um but i'm i'm eager to get this thing uh get this thing in use all right so uh that's our mail time uh so thank you guys nobody ever has to send me anything or us anything but um we appreciate it when you do and i know there's some there's some other stuff that's coming in the mail, but uh, I wanted to get, I've held on to this stuff for a, a month at least, so I wanted to get it in a video and, and open them up because it's almost winter time and I wanted to start watching some movies. So <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next week. What do you think about that? Mama, is there something else in here? Yes. Oh. Mama, I got a new hat. How's that look? Oh, yeah, that's going to, it's a little tight. I might have to readjust that. I don't like the snapback hats, though. I don't like the, the, the flex fit hats. But my wife loves the snap hats because she can put a ponytail through the back. Yeah. Maybe Gunner. You want you walked over here like you wanted to wear it. You wanna wear it? He, no, he <laughs> I put the camera on the couch and he's like, Can you get the camera off the couch? Cause I wanna lay down. Alright, we gotta go. Gunner wants to lay down.